Hi everyone, uh, thanks for watching again. Um, this time I'm going to show you how to take an old disposable camera and use the electronics to charge a big capacitor like out of a microwave or I don't know, a washer or something like that. And then we're going to fire it through some old Christmas lights and then through a light bulb they use for like a plasma bulb. See what that does. And then I've got some uh, magnet wire and we'll try to make a rail gun out of it. Just simple stuff just to play around with since I have this old special camera. You can see, you can hear it charging. I'm not going to blind you with the, the light, but it's pretty bright. But we can use the electronics to charge these capacitors. Or just use the electronics and the capacitor that's already in it, but I want to show you how to do that. First, I'm going to take apart the camera, and I'll skip to that. Okay, I got the camera open, and I'll show you what's on the side. Um, you see this battery. That's where you charge it. It's just a little switch. It's cheaply made. Uh, we can fix that if we want to, but I'm just going to keep it like it is. Right here's the capacitor. It's, I mean, it's a pretty good size for a, a you know, disposable camera. But we're going to solder... Uh, two leads to this capacitor, so we're gonna hook it up like parallel with this one and We're applying the powers DC to these capacitors and we'll see how it discharges and I'll show it to you All right, I've soldered uh, the two leads here Just two regular wires to each end of this capacitor that was already in the camera and I wired it up to this capacitor, the bigger one, in parallel, which means that when DC is supplied, the both of these capacitors are charging. It doesn't matter what's like what lead this one goes to to this up bigger capacitor because this big capacitor is not like positive or negative. But watch what happens when we charge up this the both capacitors and discharge it. What I have to connect it to is these alligator clips that's connected to. Um, two pieces of graphite which should light up really really well so let's charge up the capacitor and we'll see what, how it goes you can hear it charging up it's pretty loud sounds like a jet plane or something but now watch this watch how big of an arc Pretty, pretty good size for you know, just a disposable camera. Now I do not suggest tasing people with this because this would probably really, really hurt somebody because of the big cap. But it's good for just like high voltage applications, just to play around with. I mean, experiment with. Uh, let's do it again. Pretty good. Now we're gonna. I'm gonna try it with this light bulb. I have no idea what it'll do. Probably blow the bulb, but we'll see. Put one end. I'm gonna just connect one end like this, and then put it against. We'll see what happens. Hold on. All right. Let's charge the capacitors up again. If it like arc across or something, the glass. Okay. Wow, that's cool. Let's see that again. It lit up the light bulb just for a split second. I guess it got up to the wattage it needed. We'll see here in a second. It's like almost like a old fashioned camera flash. Except, I mean, <laughs> nothing like that really, I guess. Okay, now we're just going to arc it again to the two leads.
Okay, next we're going to try a Christmas light, just for the heck of it. I'm sure it's going to blow, because that's what people's done on the line that I've seen. But we're going to play around with it anyway. Alright, I'm going to pause it for a minute. Okay, there we go. Okay, ah. Alright, we'll do another since you didn't really get to see that one. Okay, it's a blue Christmas lot, and we are charging up this big capacitor with the camera again. We're gonna fire it through this old Christmas lot. Okay, here we go. God, excuse me. Crap. Okay, I wired another cap in parallel with it, another big one, and we're going to arc across again. I have a few more seconds left on my tape though, but pretty good size arcs.